Hey guys, it's Turk Shemin here, and today this is the start of the second season with Brian Live Album. And we start on this episode with a offer for d I can't say it's fucking I don't care. The um the Georgian struggle I signed last season. Who, 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 who I do kind of want to go because he's got like that bullshit stamina. So he can't. Yes, you can only play like every one and a half weeks. So I kind of want him to go for about two million. Like two million. That's a lot more than his actual value. And I'm getting like big offers anyway. I know the the chief executive says he wants between or a, or a max a minimum of nine hundred and seventy thousand, and you know that's quite a lot, but not that much. It's not massive. Those two players there have seen pretty shit, so you know I'm not gonna sign them. They're gonna be released. <laughs> and that was the last week my player my uh, scout was in England, so he's uh he's left. He, he he I'm gonna send him off to uh, Italy. Because, you know, because I could pick up a good player from Italy. I know he's not the best guy in the world. And, yeah, I, they only gave me a budget of 8.5 million. And I thought that wasn't enough. So I'm asking for two extra million and to, f and to get into the Europa League and get into the quarterfinals. Which I could probably do. Because Bruno Valbian, I, I, I could have good good um, plans with this team. And they actually, they actually give me the money. <laughs> the board allocated me the extra money. I couldn't, I really didn't think they'd give me the additional funds. Like, really? I couldn't, ex I didn't expect it, Gavin. So, I, I, I get more offers for him, but, you know, um, I just said, yeah, two millions minimum. And I was looking to see how much I could get a free agent for. This guy, 18 years old, 60 overall, he looks pretty good, showing great potential, so, yeah, I think I might sign this guy. He won't be, he won't get games up, game after game, but he, he looks good. Only 18 years of age, and I also see this defensive bid, also 18 years of age, 67, CDM, um, 18 years old, also showing great potential. So yeah, he could be a very important player, because so, uh, he, he, I have such a big midfield, he will only be a um, a uh, squad rotational player, because I've got that massive midfield, which is, which is really good. So, and I've also picked up a centre-back, and I needed a centre-back. Because I've lost Gordon Greer, and yeah, and I've only got Elab. But the, uh, I can't, the French team has gone ahead and matched the offer, which is really great. So 2 million for that player, and that sub strike, and that striker I got there probably would be an alright replacement. The 17 year old Vega has signed, is, uh, is hopefully going to go off on loan. Uh, because, you know, he, he, he might have a good potential. Um, but. You know, we're not too sure at this moment how how much he's gonna how high he's gonna grow. So I weren't I wanted to get him get him off on loan. Um the centre back accepts his offer, Dennis um Montiero, the Italian the Italian centre back who's sixty seven overall and eighteen years of age, pretty good guy. I get another offer for the for um him him again, twenty two thousand two million I uh send back to him. And remember this guy, guys. Remember this guy. Everyone remembers him. The guy with, like, insane ball, like, physical... He was, like, really quick, and he's really small. And hopefully... And I remember he kept reject... He rejected, but the team wasn't too bothered. Like, I remember that's what... That was... That's what happened with him. Like, uh, the team was pretty happy letting him go, but that he wasn't happy going. So I inquired, but I already sent an offer. I do that sometimes. I just inquire, and then I'll put an offer through. So that the uh, striker wants another uh, an increase of wage. I'm probably gonna give it to him because you know I might. If that guy goes, he will have a lot of that striker. Obviously, obviously. I see. I see. I I I have no right back to him. I'm like I've got Vargas, but he he's terrible. So I see this guy Adam Matthews, um, 21 years old, plays for. Um, Celtic, but um, I can't afford him really, like at all. So I'm gonna go in with two million. So they weren't, they weren't. I don't think they're gonna accept it though. And the um, the defensive mid, who I really wanted, to, who um, the free agent, um, accepts his contract and he's gone. Uh, Vega is off to Exeter for the season. The young Argentinian is going off. Um. Of the, of the League 1 or League 2, I can't remember, I don't know what 
team Whatley they're in. And Beziet, the um the Frenchman, has accepted his con uh, they've accepted an offer and he wants five thousand a week. I will give it to him because you know he looks very important. And then I see this man, Bernard. What the holy shit is this? Holy fucking shit. This guy is not going to go easy. And they said that, that he's not available to go. But I need this player. Look at him. 20 years, of old, 20 years old. 78. Has something to be special. He ha he looks like he's going to be insane. Like absolutely insane. So he probably will. Um, he probably will reject it. The um, striker who I. The free agent striker. He's getting really fussy. He wants to have a bigger role. No. You can't have a bigger role, man. You're a free agent. When do free agents get fussy? Like, what the fuck? Why would the free agent be fussy? Oh, he's not going to get enough games. Ah, fuck him. I do need him, though. But then, I see this fucking insane left back. Lloris Bentian. 98 acceleration. 97 sprint speed, the fastest left back probably on the game, and um, yeah, I really wanted to get him. I'll pretty much pay anything they ask for him. Uh, Benziet has accepted his contract. He's in the team. I was so happy when I saw this. He's going to be starting cam every game. Uh, it doesn't look like Catalania are going to sell me Bernard. He does seem like he's going to go for a lot more. I see this guy, the big, this big uh, guy from Ghana. He looks pretty good. I did actually, they, I did actually, they did actually accept 6 point, uh, 2.6 as like an inquiry, but now they're trying to push it even more. But I really want this guy, so I'm going to set it. And I see this guy, coverage out, because you know I have no right, I only have Vargas at right back. A lot of pace, a lot, like very similar to the Zurich, man. And of course, you know, I've only got one goalkeeper, so God, I've heard of him. And I was also, I also got quite, look quite interested in this guy. I also have no uh, sub left mid, so yeah, I had to spend like a lot of money in this team. They want 2.4 million, which is okay. He's 71 overall. Yeah, it's a good. It might cost me a bit of money, but I'm pretty happy to spend that much. Here, they want 3.9. I can't give them 3.9. I have nowhere near that, that much money. I I won't be able to afford him. Like he's a squad rotational player. He, why are they asking for so much? And they're also, uh, the, the team is also asking for 6 million for this guy. Zero chance that's happening. That's it, he's done. So, after, he, he, the, and you know, the free agent guy, he's still being fussy. Not accepting his fucking contract. So, Frech from, um, from Fulham, that they want 2.6 million. I'll give him that. The, the young Turk and striker looks pretty good. Yes, then. Uh, Lele, uh, the club of Lele is from 4.6, too much money, but finally, he accepts his contract. Ah, uh, he, he's not going to be getting games, I know. So, we're coming to the episode, guys. Um, sorry, it's a little skip, I didn't know, I didn't know when the video was editing. So, it's been your boy, the Turk champion, and in a bit.